How about you YouTube? Back with the Service Tech again. Uh, today I have another unboxing video for you. And this is one of my favorite boxes to date. Um, there's two that's at the top of my list. Bobos, of course, being number one. Uh, you just can't beat that. But this is, as far as cookie cutter boxes go, this one is my favorite. And that would be the BAM box. Check them out. I've not been disappointed with single box yet. Uh, you get really good items. Uh, usually you have some something is autographed. Um, last month I actually got a uh, one-up card or uh, the Gold Star card, and I got an autographed 1984 Green Lantern comic. So anything that's autographed is a plus. I mean, I. Yeah, I, I absolutely love this box. Sorry if I'm a, a little little off. I think I'm starting to come down with a cold, and I just woke up a few minutes ago and saw this on my front steps. So, yeah, I just had to jump on here and make a video for you guys. So, without further ado, I'm just going to go ahead and get a knife, and we're going to pop into this bad boy. Uh, I'm pretty sure that the theme was joke. I think I, I can't remember again it had something to do with Suicide Squad so I know I'm gonna see some Suicide Squad stuff in here um, they sent out a teaser uh, yeah, they, sorry I keep hearing a clown horn or something I think it's a bicycle outside I, I don't know it's driving me crazy though know? but they sent out a teaser uh, about the killing joke so I really hope that there's a copy of this since I don't have a copy anymore um, that would be <clears throat> that would be awesome. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Man, hope I'm not getting sick. So, you open up the box, and as always, I got stuff on top, and I had a card just fall out. Can you guys hear that? The kid's going ham out there with that. Got a one up, a green one up. So awesome. Check that out. Enter to win a Hannibal Lecter custom full size bust. That's pretty dope. I don't know where I'd put a full size bust though. I'm kind of limited on space where I'm at. Okay, now they got a, a one up key. Kind of just tells you. Uh, what the one up cards are for which is actually good because I've seen a lot of videos where people get the cards and then they go through their boxes but they're not sure what was one up until they actually go through the card so at least this way you kind of get a little bit of a heads up of what you got one up on uh, like I said last time I, I was a gold star got the comic that was signed and this one green is for custom pins so that's awesome I got a, a upgraded pen Yellow is going to be a random. Uh, red is going to be the art prints, and blue is going to be an autograph. So, and the pen. Huh, that's awesome. Okay. Let's see if you guys can see that. But it's the cable guy, gold and black. I, I loved, love Jim Carrey. I love the cable guy. Cable guy. Cable guy. But yeah, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, um, it just dawned on me the uh, the theme. Oh, if I would have read the back of the pen, but the theme is crazy, not joke. It's crazy. Hence why cable guy. So awesome. So yeah, I'm already already happy with that. that that's cool who doesn't like the cable guy so all right now we're going to bust into this and and the first thing i see right off the top the hannibal lecter mask hello carries And then we have a little box, and it says, 
what's in the box and fragility. Hmm. That's a good question, guys. What's in the box? Huh. <laughs> All right. It's a Barbie head. Barbie's been decapitated. There's a bloody rag in here. All right. Is it supposed to be a reference to a uh, seven? That would be actually really funny if that's a reference to seven. And then we have a DC Universe original movie, Batman: The Killing Joke. Selections from the motion picture soundtrack. That's actually really awesome. So this is actually my first vinyl record. It's not something I normally collect, but it is the Joker and it is the Killing Joke. So yeah, that'll get displayed. So that's awesome. And then now down to looks like the prints are the last things. And knew it was coming. First thing we have is a Harley Quinn print. It is signed and numbered. It's uh one six six six. So that's cool. I mean, I, I do like the the overall design. Uh, I like the color choices. I mean, it, it's a good print. I knew something Suicide Squad was going to be in this, so I saw it coming. And then, all right. So this one, it's kind of got the bombshell cover to it. And it's a comic book, and it's Harley Quinn and Power Girl. So yeah, that's not bad. So, yeah, that's, that's not bad. It is a number one. So, it's not signed or anything. So, just a comic. And now on to the card. And that's it for the box. So, we'll see what everything could have been. Oh, the pins are cool. So, it looks like they're all Jim Carrey. Um, you've got a green mask, you got the cable guy, and then you got Ace Ventura. And then there, there they are with all the gold and black uh, variants. So, I would have been happy with any of them. I like Ace, or uh... <laughs> wow, I like Jim Carrey as an actor. So um, the Ace Ventura movies were great. Um, the Mask, uh, Cable Guy, all all really good. And then you got a custom Hannibal Lecter mask. Uh, the Bandbox ex exclusive release, The Killing Joke soundtrack, two songs, forty five. So that's cool. It's an exclusive just for the Bandbox. And then the Barbie head says, what's in the box? Who can forget, yep, the plea from Brad Pitt to Kevin Spacey from the movie 7. Okay, awesome. So, that that's it. I don't know, I got a feeling that some people are going to get mad about it. And think it's more like a, a cop-out, cheap-out um, decor. But I actually think it's really funny. Um, I, I really enjoyed the movie 7. So, that's the first thing I thought of when I saw it. So I guess anybody that's a fan of that movie might appreciate it a little bit more than just the normal person does. But yeah, I thought that was actually kind of comical. And then on the back side of the card we have Harley Quinn Comics, Jason Oaks, Harley, the Bandbox exclusive print. And honestly, I think I would have probably preferred the black and white. I don't know. I don't know. I, I do like the color that's on this one. It's just it's hard to say. And the, the Harley comics could have got a 
different amount of those. And then... I guess I could have got one of one of two <clears throat> yeah one or two prints I think I could have got the one I did get or I could have got the pinup Harley which I don't know she's kind of more of a classic style it's just, got her hammer it's kind of got the uh, the calendar pages down in the corner so it's kind of more like that not to old school uh, calendar pinup styles so I don't know I think I I think I may have one I, I don't know. they're both all right I'll read these real quick Okay, and then uh, the blue mushroom, you would have got a, I'm not even going to try to say her last name, but Karen, the actress that played Katana in Suicide Squad, did uh, signed 8x10 photos of uh, her character as Katana. And then the Gold Star Instant Winner was a 1-1 hand-drawn and airbrushed sketch cards. So those would those have been cool. So there's the katana prints, and there's the instant winner, custom, hand-drawn, airbrushed, one-to-one -one scale. So, yeah. I mean, I'm a little excited that I, I got the variant pen. Um, I think I would have probably preferred something else, but I mean, I still enjoyed this box. Still some good content. It's still one of my fav favorite boxes out there. Um, yeah, I mean, other than that, that's about it for this video. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the band box. Like, subscribe to my channel. And as always, stay geeky.